Hello everyone, I hope you're having a great day and welcome back to another episode in me renovating a Sylvanian doll's house. So this week we're going to be tackling bedding, sheets and all things miniature pillows. I have four techniques I'm going to be showing you in this video of how I made little miniature bed pillows and some of them are really easy and some of them are a little bit more complicated but there's many to suit any type of crafter so stay tuned. The first thing you're going to want is your templates. So all the measurements that I used in this video are here for size 16 and 12 scales for the inner pillows and pillowcases. They do not include the seam allowance so make sure you add on that when you're cutting the fabric out so you have enough to um, sew it up otherwise you'll have a pillow that's way too small. So the first technique is the hand sew technique and it's pretty simple, just a simple running stitch all around the piece of fabric square that you have cut out with the extra seam allowance of course. Make sure you do that because otherwise your pillow will be too small and you want to make sure that you leave a gap so you can then fill the pillow full of wadding. Once you have done that you can turn it inside out using a sharp tool or something to just help with um, getting the seams coming out and the corners nice and sharp. This isn't the sharpest technique if you want something really really clean um, but it's the easy one of the easier ones of these techniques. Um, so yeah just stuff that pillow up with the wadding or whatever you want to use. You could use spare threads if you collect those. Use up bits and bobs that you have hanging about or some spare sponge whatever. Just use some fabric up and then I just close up that seam um, or the hole with just a simple slip stitch. Um, you could also do a ladder stitch as well which is a bit more invisible. So yeah, that's my little 1 16th scale pillow. This is the one I will be using for my doll's house. But I'm going to be showing you now two more techniques using the 1 12th scale pillow size. So you get your template, cut out some fabric with the seam allowance, and um, then we can get on to the sewing machine technique. So if you're great with the sewing machine or want to run up a ton of pillows really quickly, this might be the technique for you. Essentially the same thing as the hand sew, just on the machine. Um, and obviously you have to leave a gap as well. Make sure you cut the corners off so you have a little bit of a diagonal there. That can help um, make the turning inside out less bulky and therefore the um, corners will be more sharp. That goes for all of these techniques. So exactly the same thing, um, once you stuff it, um, you can then fill it up. That's the size difference as well between the 16th and the 12th. So on to the next one. This is seam ironing. This is my most preferred um, technique in this and you basically take your paper template and you cut your fabric with your seam allowance and the extra seam allowance we're going to be folding up to the paper template so you will essentially have the true size that you're after and we're going to be ironing these um, flat so that it makes it a lot, lot easier to work with when you're sewing them up and gives really, really crisp corners. This is probably the best technique to do for any pillows um, that you want to do, including pillowcases. Um, so yeah, you just have to iron all the seams uh, flat and bend over the ones widthways as well on top of each other. Make sure to take the paper template out as well when you're done with this. Um, so yeah, just continue that until you have two. And then you can place them on top of each other and you can easily sew around the whole thing using a ladder stitch technique. Now technique four is using the seam ironing steps, but instead of sewing them up all by hand, you are going to just hot glue everything closed, leave a little gap and then hot glue the seam together. This is a really, really quick way to um, get the crisp seams without all the work of the stitching essentially. If you're not a great stitcher or you just want to get something done really quickly, the hot glue method is probably good for you as well. Um, so, But for this one I just uh, did the hand sew technique and used a ladder stitch because um, I just I don't know, I just like stitching up the little pillows, so that's what I did. And then all our little inner pillows are finished and we can move on to the cases. I will show you the difference in a minute um, with each technique. 
So here's a little show and tell of how the different techniques look. So on this 112 scale pillow, this is the one that I did with the seam ironing. As you can see, the corners are super, super crisp. You can see the stitching, which is the only downside if you don't want to see stitching, maybe do the one where you turn it inside out. Um, but I really like this one. I think this is the most neatest looking one. And then this one is with the machine and uh, yeah, more of a curved corners, a little bit more soft looking. So if that's for you, then the hand sew and the sewing machine one will get those effects. So now we're on to pillowcases. So to make your pillowcase, you're going to be essentially using the inner pillar template, but a half an inch or quarter inch bigger than uh, the original one. So you wanna cut that out and when you cut your fabric out, again, do the seam allowance, cut that as well, and then you will be folding it over the same way. Um, use whatever technique you want for this. You could easily just do with glue as well, and it should fit inside. You can compare when you have your little pillow made first to make sure. And yeah, so that's what I'm gonna be doing. You could also just do a simple wrap and stick I mean, it doesn't have to be um, as complicated as the way I'm doing it. Um, so I just did that with all the pillowcases and I'm just gonna sew them up exactly the same way as I did the inner pillows, but just on a bigger scale and make sure you don't sew up the edge because you need it to go in there. So this is the finished pillow here, um, inner pillow that is. <laughs> how many times am I gonna say pillow in this video? It's crazy. Anyway, so yeah, that's how it goes in. Um, you can get so fancy with frills or um, you could sandwich a little bit of lace in between these pillows before you sew them up to give them a really cottagey feel if you want to. And this is how the pillows look with the 112 scale mattress. So now we're on to the duvet, the final touch. So now we're just going to use, I decided to use this sort of wool felt lining material. I'm not quite sure what it is. Um, it's the stuff that you put in between quilting. Um, and I just picked out a rather funky fabric. Um, these are in two strips because it's for quilting fabric. So I had to sew a seam down the center. So yeah, just cut out your size. You can really just kind of gauge this. Um, there's no real measurements for this. Um, so I just did that and sewed it up. So I also made a little flat sheet <laughs> for the mattress because I forgot about that and just did a quick pleat and glue job. Not very fancy, I was gonna do elastic on it, but it was too small to do it properly. And this is how the uh, duvet came out. I'm kind of scrunching it because it's, it's pretty stiff right now. But yeah, so I just made a little pocket essentially, same thing with the pillows, and I hand sewed that around. And I also did a little reversible white on the back if I want to change the fabric up a bit. So that's how the little miniature bed and bedding and pillows came out. I'm pretty happy with them and I'm glad I went for a little bit of pattern because I think white would have been a little bit too boring. But yeah, so that's how it is and the bunny can now go to bed. He doesn't have pyjamas but um, maybe I should make a video where I make him some clothes because his outfit's getting a little bit boring. <laughs> he needs he needs a refresh. So that's the house, the, not the house, um, the bed in the house. And that's how it's looking so i hope you enjoyed this video and uh, you got some tips for making bedding in miniature so thank you so much for watching